Hey guys, welcome back for day six of this Journey to You challenge. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you're feeling in alignment with yourself and like the best you every single day. So today we are focusing on grounding. Really, really important, especially for me who has a lot of energy floating up around here. Anyone that has anxiety or a lot of nervousness and stress in their everyday life, grounding is super important. So not only can we ground ourselves in our yoga practice, but also I want to set a little challenge for you today to go outside, take off your shoes and connect with the earth walk barefoot, doesn't matter how cold it is, I've done it in the freezing temperatures of London, so trust me, it's so, so powerful. It's almost like you are taking your charger, your virtual charger, and plugging it into the earth. And we get to take all that juicy energy up into the body from the universe, basically. So I'll stop talking now, you know I love a ramble. Let's hop on the mat and get started with our practice. Okay guys, so starting out today, lying on our backs, we're gonna take soles of our feet to the floor, knees pointing up towards the sky. Take a moment to settle in. Let your arms rest by your sides, palms facing upwards. And like we've done every other day, we'll take three cleansing breaths together to arrive into the present moment. So inhaling, filling up the belly, filling up the chest, And exhale, let it all go. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. Good, one more. Really filling up, not just the front of the body, but the sides, the back of the body. And exhale, let it go. And just starting to really notice that connection between the soles of the feet and the earth beneath you. And as we ground down through our practice today, I want you to really focus on those areas of the body that are connecting with the earth. The more we bring ourselves in connection with the earth, especially outside, take your shoes off, go for a walk, the more grounded and earthly we feel. Okay, when you're ready, gently blinking, open the eyes. Just taking knees in towards the chest, let the lower back reset. We'll take soles of the feet back to the floor. Hip distance apart, hands resting by your sides, and as we inhale, we're gonna peel up into our bridge pose. So I don't want you to just quickly drive up. I want you to start to engage through the glutes, Start to tuck the tailbone under, and as you do that, you should feel the lower back already start to peel off of the floor. And then, and then we're, we're moving in that same fluid motion. Peel up. Middle back. Upper back until the weight is through the shoulders, pressing into the heels. As you exhale, you're going to reverse it back down, slow and controlled. It's going to use some core strength to peel it down. Don't rush it. Good. Two more like that. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, peel down. Good. One more. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, slowly down. Yeah, taking arms out into a T-shape. Let both knees fall over to the left-hand side. Lifting the knees slightly higher towards the arm if you want to. Looking over that right shoulder. And I like to think about the knees stretching in one direction as my arm stretches in the opposite direction. So you're really getting that twist through the center of the body. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale straight to the other side. Looking over that left shoulder if you can. 
really breathing through the chest, through the side of the body. And just taking one more breath here. And then we'll inhale back to center. Squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Hands underneath the knees. We'll start to rock and roll ourselves forwards and backwards, really letting the back fully massage on the floor, almost press it in. Take one more rock with me until you come all the way up into a nice tall seated position, reaching arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands stretching out in front of you. And again, like we said in our other forward seated fold, it doesn't matter how deep you are into it, just working those elbows down with every exhale, try to relax the head, relax the neck. Good, one more breath. And as your weight comes down towards the earth, feel that calming sensation of all the body just connecting with the ground beneath you. As you inhale, slowly lifting up, reaching up, and as you do, switching the crossover of the legs, we'll take a fold back forwards. And we're gonna add some movement in now. So doing semicircles left and right, we take the left hand over, right arm up and over the air to face you in case you can't see what I'm doing. And then we come down, stretching, drawing the biggest semicircle we can with both arms until the left comes up and over. And moving like that, inhale, exhale. Breathing in. Exhale for the semicircle. Good, inhale up. Exhale, take it round. One more on this side. Exhale, pausing through center. And then slowly lifting yourself up to a nice tall seat. We'll roll over onto hands and knees into our tabletop position. And here I want you to take your hands a little bit further out in front so they're not directly stacked underneath the shoulders. You just have a little bit of space there. We're gonna tuck our toes under. As you inhale, I want you to squeeze your knees up off of the floor. Tuck the tailbone slightly, press the floor away. Okay, from here we inhale up into a down dog, knees very bent, chest pressing back. So it's a very short down dog. And then as you exhale, you're slowly lifting onto tiptoes as you roll your knees back towards, but hovering away from the floor. Yes. Inhale up. Press the chest and belly towards the thighs. Exhale, slowly down, roll it down. One more like that. Press it back. Exhale, slowly, slowly lower, as slow as you can. Feel the belly engage. Press the floor away with the shoulders, super strong movement. And then inhale, back into that short down dog. We're gonna walk our hands towards our feet, slowly, slowly, really feeling the floor as you press back. Inhale, big reach up overhead. Exhale, hands interlace behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest. Exhale, starting to fold forwards, pulling your arms away from your back, keeping a nice soft bend through the knees. Good, one more breath here in and out. And then slowly lifting up into chair pose. Fingers sweep the floor as we sit back, lift through the chest. I know your thighs are probably burning, me too. Breathe in, exhale, take it a little bit lower. Breathe in, exhale, fold halfway, belly to thighs, reach, reach, reach. Slowly starting to walk your hands forwards into your high plank, upper push-up position. Make your way there, press the floor away. We're going to inhale, left knee to nose, squeeze in, tiger pose. Slowly stepping through the gap, adjust if you need to, drop that back knee down. Inhale, low lunge, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart center, bring the energy down to your heart space. 
Inhale, chest starting to lift. And as you breathe out, hooking that right elbow outside the left knee, twisting in this low lunge twist. Every breath out, pushing hands to heart center. Open the chest a little more. Squeeze that right glute, turn it on. And then from here, we're tucking the back toes. Can you straighten through the back leg? So instead of thinking about a lift up, I want you to just think about lengthening through your leg. It's different, it'll feel different. So we're lengthening rather than lifting. Yes, breathe in, breathe out. One more, inhale. As you exhale, big step forwards into our twisted chair. One big hop, right foot meets the left foot. Squeeze the knees together, sit low. You're doing amazing, breathe with me. In and out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, we're coming straight to the other side. Hands through heart center, hook that left elbow outside the right knee. Twist, breathe in. Exhale, sit lower. Inhale, big step back into your twisted high lunge. So slowly separate left knee from right knee. Big step to the outside edge of the mat. Amazing job. Keep breathing, keep twisting through the heart space. Keep pressing that right knee into your left elbow. Good. Slowly release, left knee down. Inhale, chest to center, hands to heart center. Exhale, sweep down, bring it up. Oh, only a little short flow and I'm already hot and sweaty. Hands come down, frame the front foot, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. We step back into our high plank. Inhale, hips to the sky, press back, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. If you want to pedal it out, options open, feel free to pedal it. Warm up through those legs. I mean, they don't need that much warming up. They should be warm already. Good. And then we're gonna walk hands back towards the feet. And like I said before, every handprint you make, you feel the floor. Conscious movement, conscious grounding. Yes, guys. Inhale, slowly rise. Exhale, interlacing hands behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest. Exhale, chest coming down, falling onto the thighs, pulling the arms away from the back. Good. One more breath. Next, inhale, we're in our chair pose, sweep the floor, lift through the chest. Breathe in, breathe out, lower. One more breath in, out, halfway in the chair. Good, give me a breath here, reach your arms away, sit low, squeeze through the glutes. And then slowly, every handprint that comes forward, we do the same, conscious movement into that plank pose. Lifting through the chest, strong through the legs. Amazing job. Breathe in, breathe out. As you inhale, bringing that right knee to nose, squeeze in, tiger pose. Strong step between the hands, drop the back knee down. Inhale, low lunge, adjust as you need to. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, twisting, hooking that left elbow outside the right knee. Starting to twist around, pressing your knee into elbow, elbow into knee. Amazing, inhale and exhale. One more. Good, inhale, tucking the back toes, straightening through the back leg. Remember, it's not a pickup, it's a straighten. Good, stay strong here, lift through the chest, squeeze into the glutes, don't sink down. One more breath, static here. And then we take a big step up, left foot meets the right foot. Make it strong, connect the knees, sit low. Don't lose that lowness through the, sit, through the seat. Good. Inhale, chest to center, sweep, swing up. Exhale, straight to the other side, hands through heart center. We're coming over to that left side. Breathe in, sink low. Breathe in. 
Exhale, separate right knee from left knee, big step to the back of the mat. Control it, doesn't matter if you get a little bit of a wobble, save it. And then as you exhale, slowly coming down. Inhale, chest to center. Sweep down, sweep up. Yes. Exhale, hands frame your front foot. Tuck and lift through the back knee. We're stepping back to plank and then pressing up to down dog. Hips to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more breaths to reset. Last one. Slowly walking hands back towards the feet, remembering those hand prints. Good. As you inhale, slowly rise up, reaching up overhead. Exhale, hands into heart center. Nice. We're gonna stand onto the left foot, lift through the right knee. We're gonna do four tree poses as we travel up the mat. So two on each side. So make sure when you step forwards, you're taking small steps. So from here, knee comes out, either placing your heel to thigh or to calf without your hand. If you need your hand, you use it. Holding for a breath. On the inhale, you release. Exhale, steps down. Inhale, lift the other leg. Exhale out, take it to the thigh, one breath, really grounding through that right foot, good, inhale release, exhale step, inhale lift, exhale tree, one breath. Good, last one. Right foot down. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Place it to the thigh. One breath. Good. Inhale, take it forwards. Exhale, take it down. We'll inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale, big fold forwards. As we inhale, chair, sit low, reach up, squeeze through the glutes, take it halfway, reach. Option if you have a crow in your practice to take it, hands come down, knees to armpits, you rock forwards, toes lift. If not, you're with me in that half chair. Give me one more breath, squeeze through the glutes, don't cramp in the hips. And then we're all coming down, meeting in a boat pose. Hips slowly sink, toes lift, deep breath in, deep breath out, two more, you've got it, last stretch, good, slowly releasing, crossing legs over, reaching up overhead, and then exhale, closing the eyes, bringing hands to heart centre. So just taking a moment to focus on the sitting bones. Literally imagine like you're growing roots into the ground beneath you, connecting so deeply with the earth. And the great thing is when we take time to connect with the earth, it's literally like us plugging into charge. We're earthing, we're taking energy from the universe and bringing it up through the rest of the body. So if ever you're feeling low, you're feeling fatigued or just out of alignment, I highly recommend taking off your shoes, walking in nature, hugging a tree if you need to. Look around, I like to look around and check no one's watching, but if you want a freely tree hug, you do that. <laughs> Let's take three cleansing breaths together to finish the practice. Deep inhale. Big exhale, maybe sigh it out. Breathe in. Audible ha huh, on the way out. <sighs> One more exactly like that. Inhale. Audible ha, huh, let it out. <sighs> Taking a moment to thank yourself. If 
for coming to move on the mat today, for coming to ground down, reconnect with the earth, charge up. And when you're ready, gently bowing the head, bowing the chest. The light in me honors the light in every single one of you. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to move on the mat with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you do feel a little bit calmer, more grounded. The more consciously we move and connect with the earth, and we can do this literally as we walk footsteps on the floor, the more it helps us to really calm, ground, earth ourselves. So if ever you're feeling a bit frantic or your energy's up here, highly recommend take some time with the floor. So make sure you're commenting, tell me how it's going, tell me how you're feeling, do you feel more in alignment with yourself, do you feel good, I hope you do, I do, and I will see you back on the mat here tomorrow for day seven, lucky number seven of this journey to you challenge. Mwah.